In this video, I'm gonna be sharing tips to help you grow your YouTube channel faster this year and put together a content strategy as we do some live Q&A. But even if you're here on the replay, I think you're gonna get a lot of value out of this video. But hey, if we're just meeting, my name is Sean Cannell. I'm the best-selling author of the book, YouTube Secrets. And my passion is helping people build their influence and their income leveraging the power of YouTube and online video. And I'm so pumped because we've got an awesome Q&A happening today. I've got a few uh, training uh, points to share as we dive into this, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. What's up, Jamal? What's up, Drew? What's up, Travis? Thanks for being here. Let me know where you're watching from in the comments section, and let's dive into the content um, because I want to get to your questions and things like that. But today's topic is YouTube growth strategies, and we're gonna be doing a Q&A. And hey, if you've ever been a part of Think Media before, smash the like button and share this out. If you're new here, maybe you don't know if we're good at uh, adding value yet, so no need to hit like until you get some value. You know, Don't just wanna ask for that, but always wanna ask if you get value out of this channel, smash the like button, let somebody know about this. Uh, again, my name's Sean, and my passion's helping you build your influence with video, and today, we're gonna be doing some Q&A, and so the way that works is in the live chat, Melissa on the Think Media team is helping me put four question marks before and after your question so we can really see it as a question. Today, Super Chat will help your question um, get answered, but here's the topic. It's YouTube tips, how do you grow your YouTube channel, personal branding, online marketing, it could be anything about strategy, and if we, it's not as much about tech today unless it's specific production questions about producing YouTube content. Um, we won't get too far into cameras or anything else like that. And so those are sort of the, um, the sort of framework for today around YouTube strategy and growth. We will do a few channel reviews. We also are doing a really cool Grow With Video holiday special that I tell you about and a lot more. And so as we dive into this and some questions are coming in, I just wanna talk about the foundation of success on YouTube. We're recording this in 2018. It's November, right in the middle of the holidays. And uh, of course, people are doing all kinds of holiday shopping. We actually have a new video out about my five best cameras, camera deals this season that will be going throughout the whole season. But um, we're coming up on a new year. So this is naturally the time that if you wanna grow your influence on YouTube, maybe you've been doing this for a while, maybe you're thinking about starting, now's the time to put a game plan together. Now's the time to really think about your content strategy. And there is, there is a foundational piece of YouTube success that you have to basically do if you, if you wanna succeed. Everybody who succeeded on YouTube, everyone who's growing on YouTube is doing this. And it's our, it's our formula for YouTube success our Q, I forget what it is. It's the CSQC formula. And I'm gonna be talking about this and then we'll get into your questions because this is the baseline. You know, sometimes we get into like, how do we do this over here, some nuanced thing over here. If you're not doing this formula, you're gonna lose before even starting. And so I wanna make sure you have this to kind of set the tone here and then we can get into some nuanced questions um, next in just a second. All right. So the QSC formula is this, uh, consistent, strategic, quality content. If you wanna win in YouTube in 2019, you need consistent. What does that mean? Well, that's how often are you posting videos? You can't just post one video, even if it's the best video in the world, and then just say, that's it, I've, I've done, and that video will produce everything, right? In fact, let me know in the comments if you realize how important consistency is on YouTube. And by the way, it's not just consistency as far as frequency, you wanna have a consistent message. You wanna have a consistent kind of energy as you show up, you know what I mean? That people can consistently get a certain type of experience from you, a certain kind of value at a certain, at a regular time, at a regular place with a consistent promise. You know, you're getting YouTube tips on this channel, camera tips, tech tips, advice for growing your personal brand, making money online. If, if tomorrow I uploaded a video that's like, look, I know this is a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how, to, how I do my garden and my tomatoes, be like, what? That's not the promise of Think Media. So you want a consistent promise. So you gotta have consistent content coming out, right? It's also gotta be strategic. That's a piece that a lot of people miss. If you wanna win on YouTube in 2019, you can't just be playing checkers. In, 25, in 2005, 2010, you know, if you were playing checkers, a great game, by the way, and a challenging game, 
but not as strategic as chess. In 2010, if you were playing checkers, you could win on YouTube. As we go into 2019, you, you need strategy. And that's kind of a broad word, but like you gotta have a strategy. How are you gonna be different? How are you gonna stand out? Where is there white space in your industry? Where is there white space in your to topic? Next, it's gotta be quality. Quality. Like the content you put out, and that doesn't necessarily mean production quality, although that is one thing to level up. So it's, it's leveling up your production quality. How can people see you and hear you? Do you have a distinct brand? But also quality really just comes down to value. You know, it doesn't matter if it's just shot with a pop socket on a smartphone and no one's gonna care about the lighting and the camera if I'm just filming this. If there's value transmuted, translated through the camera to the end user and they have a question, they have a pain point, they're bored, they want entertainment, whatever it is, goes through the camera and it adds value, that's quality. But it's gotta be, it's gotta be valuable and so there's production quality, there's content quality, and this is the formula that I want you to work all year long as, um, as we move into a new year. It's what we consistently work on, and obviously each one of these points drills really deep, and we have free video training, and we've got paid courses and all kinds of stuff, but that's kind of um, uh, the baseline for today. Travis asks, how do you break the initial hesitation? I've had my gear over a year and still not one video. So that's a great question, Travis. How do you just break the fear, the initial uh, hesitation of creating content? You know, I think Nike said it best. You just got to do it. You know, if you go back to the oldest Think Media video, and this isn't even near my oldest video. This is an eight-year-old video. And I had a Logitech webcam, and I just sat down, and I just started talking, and I don't even know about what. And this video is on Think Media right now, but but there he is. There's uh, there's old Sean eight years ago, and and that I just started. So you ultimately have to punch fear in the face, punch perfectionism in the face, and press record. And here's what I would challenge you to do, Travis, and everybody in our community: get your first video up. I want to give you a, a weekend challenge or a 48 hour challenge. In the next two days, shoot and upload a video. In fact, don't even do editing. I want one clip. Either use your smartphone, this goes for Travis and everybody, or your DSLR, put the camera up, set it on some shoe boxes, a tripod, hit record. Here's your. Uh, here's here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna say, hey, my name is Sean Cannell, insert your name. And on this channel, I'm not even really sure what I'm gonna do, but this is my first video. In fact, tell me in the comments maybe if you have some ideas. But you know, I'm gonna talk about this, this, and that. So hey, hit subscribe if you wanna join me on the journey. I'm really just getting started and get that video posted. You don't even have to make it public, but get it posted. Because you gotta put out bad videos, you gotta put out those first videos, your first videos are gonna be your worst videos, but you gotta get through those. And you know what's funny is, now you might see the production quality of Think Media. Look at this, this is the first video I did about how to build a video editing computer, right? And years later, now I'm building 4K computers, but back then I just attached my Droid X smartphone to my dash in my car that you can see from the bumps. On, where Am I just off road right now? What in the level of shakiness? And I just talked while I was driving to work because hey, I get it. There, you're in a side hustle season, time is short. You gotta just get your videos posted. And you gotta kind of accept the fact that this might sound daunting, but that you're gonna need to post 50 to 100 videos just to kind of get the hang of things, just to kind of put some stuff out there. Don't view your first 100 videos as needing to even produce many results. View your first 100 videos as your season for practicing to prepare you for kind of building momentum on your YouTube channel. I've uh, been posting so many videos that were so bad and it helped me get to the good ones. So I hope that helps um, Travis. And so we're talking about the consistent um, content formula and we're doing live Q&A. So type your questions in live chat. Melissa's getting those. If you wanna succeed on YouTube in 2019, you gotta have consistent strategic quality content. And did you know that more than 1.9 billion people visit YouTube every month, stretching across 90 countries and 80 languages? That's massive. It's actually over 2 billion now monthly logged in users. So there's massive people on YouTube and what that tells me is there's people that are like you, which is good, meaning they like what you like, they're into what you're into. I mean, you might be into Supreme and streetwear, you might be into action figures, you might be into cosplay, you might just be into books, 
You might be into, uh, you know, studying the Bible or your faith. You might be into all kinds of different things. And when you put your when you put your content out there in the world, you can connect with people around the world on YouTube. And there's massive opportunity right now. People of all ages, ethnicities, from all different backgrounds, from all around the world, have been succeeding on YouTube, right? Building up their content in different niches, uh, whether they're using it for business or being like a social media influencer. And YouTube is such an awesome place to grow a following, share a message, and make money. In fact, uh, the official YouTube blog said the number of creators earning five figures a year is up 35%, and the number of creators earning six figures a year is up 40% right now, which is crazy. That is YouTube tracking how much people are earning off the AdSense program. It's growing like like mass right now, right? But of course, there are some challenges, and we're gonna do some massive Q and A. But I do want you to know about um, this holiday bundle we have. And there's three big challenges. One, how do you stand out on YouTube as it gets more crowded? Major challenge. In fact, tell me in the comments if you can relate to that. Number two, how do you create consistent content with a busy schedule? So if you're gonna win on YouTube in 2019, consistent, strategic, quality content is what you got to be putting out. But how do you actually create consistent content? And then what growth strategies are actually working right now? Because the stuff that worked on YouTube four years ago, eight years ago, becomes outdated. It stops working. They update the algorithm. Those are the three big questions you want to ask. And I'm going to tell you about the holiday bundle in just a second, but let's take some more questions. Nicole, I've been posting two to six minute videos every week for a few months. Would you say it's better to post one shorter video at a frequent late? Uh, frequent weight uh, and longer videos less frequently. So Nicole, it depends on the size of your channel. Here's some different advice. And this is great for everybody. When you're starting, I think your videos generally should be just shorter, period. Because you haven't built trust with people yet. People don't know you're good for it yet. I talked to somebody, true story, who has never seen The Office, the show. In fact, tell me in, in, in the comments though, have you seen The Office or are you one of those people, you're like, I've never seen The Office or you tried watching it, you didn't think it was funny? You know, The Office, Michael Scott, Jim, Pam, right? And this individual was like, I've never seen The Office. I was like, what, who, who are you? It's like half my jokes, inside jokes or, or office, office references, right? And, um, and I was thinking about that like, I don't even know what that has to do with anything. Why, where was I going with that? What was, what, was the, what was the question? Melissa, can I see that question again? Um, and so... Uh, who, who is, who's never seen the office before. Okay. Here's what it was. And, and what this person said was I watched the first episode and I realized that I didn't think it was that funny. I was like, I don't really get this. Well, I was like, wow, I can't even. And, and, and she mentioned a few things, but what had happened is she hadn't built like a, an understanding of how the show worked yet. Sometimes watching a TV show, right? It actually takes one, two, three episodes to get to know the characters, understand the context and then it becomes like, oh, that's a no-miss show. Sometimes if you only watch one episode, you actually miss out on how good it could be because you never were bought in in the first place. Well, how does that relate to YouTube? It's the fact that you want to have content that's going out there. You have to accept this fact. If you're going to grow your influence on YouTube, you need to meet strangers. Sounds weird, right? Don't talk to strangers. You got to meet people you've never met before. You've got to have them watch a little bit of your video and then have them to decide if they would want to subscribe and keep watching more video content from you. So when it's by saying that, the point is if you meet them, like you don't want to meet them with an hour long video, even a 10 minute video. You want to be brief, be bright, be fun and be done. But as time goes on, your videos can get longer. So, you know, my friend, it's Judy time who's a vlogger. People will watch 30 minute vlogs from her. But if you're a brand new vlogger, I recommend maybe five minute vlogs. Like leave people wanting more. Never have your content early on, have it feel like it's being too long. Have people have it feel like it's too short. And man, I can't wait till the next episode comes out. This stuff is so valuable or it's so entertaining. So I think depending on where you're starting, Nicole, consider starting, um, with your uh, with shorter content, and then as you build, no people get to know you. They begin to like you. There's affinity. There's reciprocity. There's a kind of a bond, and then they eventually trust you. So I mean, some people. And by the way, some people you might just be meeting me. In fact, let me know if you're brand new to Think Media. This is like the first video you've ever seen. Or let me know in the live chat if how long you've been watching and been a part of the Think Media community. You might know from 
me doing past videos. That's the thing. You've seen me in the past. So you might be hanging out right now knowing like I could potentially deliver some value to you. But maybe a stranger pops on and like, who's this dude? I don't even know this guy. And if you don't know the person, why should I trust him? You know, like whatever it is, then you don't know. Ultimately, uh, you can't potentially go uh, to a deeper level, you know, with that individual. So you want to start shorter. True Financials. I've been watching Think Media for two years. My man, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Random things. Good to see you here. I am live. Um, Eric, thanks so much for the feedback about learning from this channel. And so uh, let's take another question. Johnny, what was your subs number for the first months? Oh man, barely anything. I mean, YouTube starts slow. You're probably like, I feel that. I mean, you're, you're trying to build something from scratch. It's kind of like a train, right? We've all seen trains or we grew up playing with train t sets, you know, or whatever. And it was this whole idea of a train that when a train is stopped, it's just this heavy train sitting on the train tracks. And when it starts, it's, it's, it's so slow, like barely moving, right? But once a train gets momentum, it's burning all this energy up front. That's how YouTube is. Like you might feel like you're just shoveling coal into the engine room of the train and you're barely making any progress. Like you're shoveling all this energy into creating videos, shooting videos. And like, you're like, I got three views. It took me three hours. I mean, I don't want to seem ingrateful, but like an hour of view is kind of discouraging. But early on, you got to put in a lot of hustle, a lot of grit, a lot of patience, and honestly, a lot of consistency. Because if we can talk real, because that's what we're always going to do here on Think Media, you might not be ready for popularity. Your stuff might suck. It might be, it's not good enough yet. That shouldn't discourage you. It might, but it shouldn't discourage you. It should be facing the reality to say, but I can get better because you can, you can level up. My first videos were terrible, man. That Think Media video is not even my first video on YouTube. One's on my Sean Thinks channel. We've played it before. It's ridiculous. Your first videos might be terrible. That's why you need to use your season in obscurity. No one knows you yet to prepare you for popularity. When you're in obscurity and you're only getting 10 views a video, it's less about the views you're getting and it's more about leveling up your craft, getting better on camera, becoming a better communicator, learning your camera settings, learning video editing, editing faster, beginning to figure out the YouTube features, YouTube cards, end cards, learning how to SEO your videos, uh, rank videos with titles, learning maybe some design in Canva or PicMonkey or Photoshop for thumbnails. My gosh, there's a lot to learn. There is a lot to learn. That's why our whole company is devoted to helping you learn the best practices and the best strategies for building your influence on YouTube. So Johnny, it's, it's hard to say and it also depends on the niche. And so uh, really quick, and we'll, we're gonna keep doing Q&A for a, a long time here, but three big challenges, right? is how to stand out on YouTube get as it gets more crowded. How do you create consistent content with a busy schedule? And what growth strategies, strategies are actually working? These are the three big problems that I think we face as content creators. How do you stand out? How can you be different? How can you stay consistent? Because let me know how many videos you're posting a week and if you ever struggle staying consistent on YouTube. And then what are the actual growth strategies that are working right now? So I wanna introduce to you our Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. Um, we're here to just kind of hang out. I'll tell you more about this kind of throughout this uh, Q and A. Uh, we'll definitely do some channel reviews and some stuff. But this Growth Video Holiday Bundle is the best, by far, craziest offer we've ever put together. Finally, you'll have an all-in-one system that reveals how to grow your audience and income with YouTube. And you can see all the details at GrowWithVideoSale.com. And there's also a link in the description. And what this really is is this is our Grow With Video Premium Online Course, which is all about helping you gain clarity boost productivity, and create a winning strategy for YouTube. So ultimately, you got it starts with clarity because you got to know how you stand out different in the market marketplace. You got to know your niche. You got to know what makes you different because different is better than better. You also have to boost productivity, and that training in this course is actually taught by Heather on my team because Heather is a homeschool mom, two kids. Her and her husband are homeschooling their kids. She's part of the team here, so she works more than a full-time job because we're crazy at Think Media. I mean, we just are. We love what we do, and so we, uh, we're just hustling all the time. Like We definitely value family and rest, and we have tons of that. 
But like when we're on, we're on. And so she's doing that. She's growing her homeschool channel. She's working on a bunch of other things. So she has to be productive. And so she's also not in like a season like me where I have a team. And so it's a little bit different. So, so relating to me might be a little harder. That's why, it's, that's why she taught the productivity training inside of Grow With Video because she's in the craziest season. Mom, hustling, figuring it out, kids, church responsibilities, life, job. Maybe you can relate. School, all this kind of stuff. You got to have systems to figure out how to be productive so you can actually post produ- um, consistent content. And then what are the winning strategies for actually growing on YouTube? So it's five hours of strategic content broken up into timely, actionable video recordings, in-depth training for developing clarity and boosting your productivity, and an insider's look at my personal six YouTube growth strategies. We'll talk about a couple of those here but um, um, in just a second, but you get them in-depth inside of this course. And so in session one, it's all about clarify and amplify your message, your branding, your positioning. Session two, taught by Heather, power productivity. Session three, our, our business tools, all of the software whether from our websites to landing pages to the apps like vidIQ and other software that we use for YouTube. And there's actually about 50 different things. Free tools we use, some paid stuff for every stage on the journey that we use because there's a lot of different business tools like online business tools and then the actual growth strategies. And uh, you can see this is Heather's channel. Over 11,000 subscribers and 400 video views um, with 10 or 400,000 video views on her Um, homeschooling and motherhood channel, working on it 10 or less hours a week. That's productivity, man. And so here's the holiday special that is going on right now. You know, right now to do a one hour coaching session, it's actually more than this now, but you know, it was in the past $500 and that'd be a one-on-one personalized session, you and me, Um, or for the brands and and even individuals or teams I work with, $5,000 for a one day training. But you can get the Grow With Video course, the action plan, as well as the complete biz tools list with all the software and the apps, which is easily a $2,500 worth of training for um, a special holiday price. And now this course is a $200 course, $197 on our website. But for the Grow With Video holiday bundle, you can get in today for just $27 plus one payment of $27 and you get all of that training, and it's at growwithvideosale.com, and there's also some limited bonuses that I'll tell you about as well. So all of that's at growwithvideosale.com, a limited time special, $200 program, 75% off on that program, and a couple hundred dollars of bonuses that I'll tell you about in a second, Um, but let's um, dive into some questions. Chris, how often should I change the look of my channel? I don't think you should probably change it that often. I think that more than your channel is is really your content. I think the look of your channel is seen the most in your thumbnails. So Chris, what I'd be working on is your thumbnails. I mean, that's that's giving you the idea of what to expect here, the organization. I mean, also maybe the look of your channel is determined by your homepage and your homepage is determined by your playlists. See how I can move these playlists around on here. I can change how I organize my content. So ask yourself a couple questions. What is the user experience? Assuming someone finds one of your videos, because they're not gonna probably find your channel, they're gonna find a video. Then what they're gonna do is click through on your channel. Then ask yourself, what is it they see? So in this case, they'd maybe see me, they'd see, in my, I hope that, you know, a picture tells a thousand words. So it's like camera, drone, think media with Sean Cannell, me holding a camera, lighting. I mean, I hope that tells a story. And I actually am long overdue for a channel rebrand. It's probably been over a year for me. I'm just like, you, come on. You're like, there's so much to do, right? I got to update my channel branding. I got to fix this. I got to fix that. We can relate. I mean, there's always, YouTube is a lot of moving parts. I'm, we're, right now I'm brainstorming uh, the kind of homepage strategy for all of this as well, um, as far as all this organization. But how often should you change it? I think once a year, maybe. And then maybe update it once a quarter. What are maybe your top videos or how do you want to organize your playlists? Make sure everything, nothing's broken. Make sure, you know, uh, you, your Instagram link actually goes to your Instagram, you know, whatever it is. And so uh, those are a few tips there. Hector, how can we stand out in the midst of everyone on YouTube? Well, Hector, that is a great question. 
Uh, if you haven't taken advantage of the um, Grow With Video holiday bundle, link in the description below, and that is some deep strategies, over five hours of training um, about standing out on YouTube, but how can you stand out? A couple different ways. You know, I think that one of the ways to stand out on YouTube is to just bring something different to the marketplace, even if it's if if it's the same niche. It's kind of vague, but it really is is profound. You know, what what is your niche need that is not being done? Uh, how could you do something maybe in a different way, a new way, a fresh way? Um, when we talk about how we were different, you know, in video influencers. Our friends, you can even see related channels. My friend Tim Schmoyer, Roberto Blake, Sonny Leonard Duzzi. We're, we're kind of in the same niche, right? Or we really are. And yet, when we started Video Influencers, my channel with Benji, we started an interview show, interviews with YouTubers. And we had all these different interviews and interviews with entrepreneurs. Well, nobody else had a weekly interview show in our niche. And our niche is crowded, man. So it's just a little bit different. But then the other thing is, and you maybe have noticed this or not, like we're a little bit different on the way we teach YouTube and whatnot than Daryl or Tim or other people because we're different. I mean, some of it, you don't even have to like, manu it's not like you're manufacturing it, you're being yourself. And when you're you times two, and what do I mean? It's like, I, I like different music than those guys. I grew up snowboarding, skateboarding, so I have a lot of hip hop, I like EDM, I kind of like, cool hop, chill hop vibes. Um, and, and so my vision for even more like the aesthetic of the way our thumbnails are, it just comes out of my personality of, of what I like. Roberto Blake is a different flavor than me. You know, other people have different, Sonny is a different gender you know, than, you know, like, so when you're, when you're just you, but what can you bring different to the marketplace? One other thing I would tell you, Hector, and here's a power tip. One of the ways to niche down is not in your topic, but it's in your audience. So for example, if I was to start a YouTube chip tips channel right now, what I would do is the niche of it would be the audience. And what I mean is, um, at the end of the day, the best practices for growing on YouTube are pretty similar. There's there definitely is different philosophies. There's different strategies. Um, there's a lot to learn, but like, it's not like crazy different. However, you wanna contextualize it for different industries. So I would, rather than trying to compete potentially with me, but hey, bring it on, you, you know, whatever. If you were gonna do like YouTube tips, I would be like YouTube tips just for service-based businesses, just for agents, travel agents, real estate agents. Like, so, so you niche down in the audience. Some of my friends, they focus on just female entrepreneurs. So now they're serving in a better way because they're taking a broader topic that lots of people are teaching on. It could be personal development, leadership, and, and, and like the principles of leadership. There's different philosophies, but it's a lot of commonalities. The difference is the audience you serve. So Hector, think about some of those distinctions. And again, the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. Let's talk about the bonuses because the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle is, I promise you, that you will be blown away by how much value you get inside of this thing. The first bonus is our course, Video Product Review Profits. You wanna watch this course right now. It'll only take you a couple hours, maybe like an hour and a half. Right now, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holidays, uh, is a big time to generate money online from product reviews. So this course is all about how to create awesome product reviews, Video Product Review Profits, Jumpstart to making money online um, with online video, how I built a six-figure income with YouTube and affiliate marketing, a lot of good affiliate marketing training. That's just a bonus in our, our holiday special. It, it, in fact, reveals some case studies of one video, friends, that produces, so far in 2018, or a little over two grand. One video that's a couple years old is generating um, almost three grand a year. It's a couple years old, it's still generating that much money. And so it's pretty cool. The second bonus is our social media growth accelerator. It's a $200 value, advanced growth hacks for Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you said, hey, in 2019, what is you know what would you do to be growing on YouTube? One of the things I would be doing, you gotta protect your focus and you can't be on every social media platform, but I would be strategically picking some social media platforms to support YouTube. Now, I'm sure you already do that. You're like, Sean, I already got an Instagram, I already got a Facebook, yes but are you maximizing it at the highest levels to 
generate trust and influence on those platforms and then educate those plat uh, people on different platforms about what's happening for your YouTube channel. Using social media to grow your YouTube channel or just growing on these other channels, period. This is just a social media growth accelerator. I mean, you may have seen our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, our LinkedIn, they're blowing up. And so this is how to get noticed and stand out on social media, even if you're just starting. It also includes a PDF download and a social media audit and swipe file. So you get that bonus as well. Plus, we're gonna be doing a private, meaning only the people that take advantage of the Growth Video Holiday Bundle, why it's happening, are gonna be able to get, um, a private group Q and A in 2019. It's gonna be more structured than this with some training. And then it's gonna be Q and A for just a small group where we can do Q and A channel reviews. Um, and again, that's a for a group private coaching Q and A. It's a group, it'll be online, but it'll be in a private area. It's a $500 value, ask me anything. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll start it, we'll do that in 2019. And so that's $741 worth of exclusive bonuses. And it's uh, it's 100% satisfaction um, guarantee, as always, all the stuff we do. So really, this will give you an unfair advantage on YouTube. It'll save you years of testing and experimenting, thousands of dollars that I've invested in learning. Like I've personally, besides taking massive action, I've invested over $100,000 in events, courses, masterminds, digital courses, practice, airline tickets to get places, and you can get all of that learning concise in an easy to follow, dige digestible way that you could take at your own pace. Hundreds of hours of study, and you can lock in this enrollment price with a 30-day money-back guarantee to check out the training. So your enrollment is totally risk-free, and um, it's the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. So you get that course, you get all the bonuses, $27 plus one payment of 27, or there's a painful option and you can save even more. And we'll look inside of Grow With Video in just a second. Let's take a few more questions. Steven, curious to know if this course will show me how to practically reach out to brands for sponsorship and negotiating price and pay, like where to find brands who um, and what to actually say. So um, a couple things uh, for that, Steven, is number one, we go a little bit more in depth than that in a different course. It's called um, Crush Collabs. And so on our website, Crush Collabs is right here. You actually get the emails that we reach out to influencers with. I'm not sure actually if we cover the brand emails. Um, we do, we cover some tweets. So you get my swipe file of tweets and you get what I've said to brands. So so that um, that's a $20 course, it's available on our website. Um, and like where to find brands and what to say. But I, just to give you a couple tips, um, Steven, is you kind of just got to reach out. So where you find brands is, is what's your niche. In fact, you could even tell me what is what is your niche. And so, you know, I might even be able to find one. I'm going to, I'll look at Asus here. So Asus, you know, is a, is a um, computer brand, laptops. And so if I do search.twitter.com, I forget some of the things here. Um, I can't find it. So um, work. Let me see here. So um, yeah, anyways, it's not working, but that's all inside of Twitter search functions. A little bit different. Have you noticed that lately? So yes, uh, reach out to brands. I think just go for it. And at first, here's what I would do, Stephen, though. Here's a practical tip for anybody. If you're early on in brand deals, Work on doing one for free. Here are two, two options. Here's the three stages. Number one, do a video as if a brand sponsored you, even if they don't. So I bought this dongle for my MacBook, okay? And it's and what I can do is I can make a YouTube video reviewing this or featuring it, and I could you know link to it, and I can make money off of it as an affiliate. But then what I could do is you have an example. If you haven't done that, that's one-on-one. Make make an example video. And, and again, nobody knows if it was sponsored. No other brand knows if you were working with a brand or not. Build your portfolio. Stage one, maybe you've already done that. Stage two, reach out to a brand and offer to make a video like the video you've made. So that's, this is why it's important steps because you want to send them something. Hey, would you like a video like this? And then you have something to show and they could go, yes. And you go, well, hey, I, I would love to do a video reviewing um, your blender, you know, and would you send me a free one? I'll, I'll cover it in the video just as a, as a value exchange. 
So level two is no money is exchanged. You've already made an example. Now you're getting a free blender or whatever product you've reached out for. And now you're actually building some momentum, working with brands, building some case studies. Then level three is, hey, what is, you know, do you ever work with influencers? Do you ever work, do you, have you ever work with YouTubers? They're like, yes. You're like, well, hey, I'd love to cover some of your stuff. They're like, maybe what's your fee? Or you go, you know, my fee is $300 per video. And then one other thing to look at is called socialbluebook.com. Socialbluebook.com. And that is a uh, cool site. Know your worth on social media. You can link up um, a lot of different things. You can link up your Instagram, your uh, YouTube, and it'll give you your value based on some different data of what it thinks you could charge. And by the way, if you can only charge 50 bucks a post, $25, like that's awesome. Like, you, you know, scale as you go. And what's cool about Social Blue Book is it actually tells you the value of your channel just based off your influence. It doesn't count production fees. So let's say it says you're, you're further along. It says your videos are worth $1,000. That doesn't count. You might charge $2,500 $2, for a brand deal. It's just saying the fact there's an upload on your channel, that's worth a thousand, but then you got to produce your content. Maybe you also say you're going to share on social media. So we could go on that more in the future, but that, uh, I hope that helps. True financials. What are some strategies for creating titles that get clicks? This seems to be my weak point. So one of my strategies would be this, um, headline generator. Use a headline generator and just to get you started, um, and this will this will give you headlines that are kind of and there's lots of them. So look, here's the search terms. Practical. You could write this down. Uh, headline generators. How to write blog headlines or or powerful marketing headlines. So so imagine this. Look at this. You can go topic. What's your topic? Uh, I'm going to use Heather Torres on our team as an example. Homeschool. So you go homeschool in the topic, 10, uh, okay, desired outcome is to uh, less stress, maybe for homeschool moms. Undesirable outcome, overwhelmed, okay, right? That would be her audience, overwhelmed. Points in content, I've, I've got five points to share with my audience. Five ways less stress, so then you can work on that. Five ways to have less stress as a homeschool mom. Great title. Five uh, ways to less stress. Number two is our favorite. Kind of creative, right? I know this is sort of hard to read on the screen. Here we go. Um, five proven methods for homeschooling five-year-olds. Five mistakes. So like this is like, is that helpful? By the way, that's just the numbered list. Look at this. How to. The ultimate guide to homeschool. Uh, how to less stress like Bill Greats. So like, how to have, um, you know, I'm trying to think of somebody. How to have the mindset of a monk while homeschooling your crazy kids. Like a boss headline. Is this helpful? Let me know in the live chat. Smash like if you're getting value out of this video. Strong and controversial. Um, why are you overwhelmed? Three things, you know. You won't be able to have, anyways, I like these are, that's just one thing. So study how to write blog headlines, use headline generators. And those are for blogs. They're usually for landing pages and things, but I think it's it's the essence of those principles that will help you um, coming up with some really, really strong titles. So hey, if you're joining right now, my name's Sean Cannell. I'm the uh, best-selling author of the book, YouTube Secrets. We're doing live Q&A, or maybe you're here on the replay. And we're also talking about the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. We have a super special um, limited time offer going on right now of some of our best training. Almost $1,000 worth of um, strategic, actionable training. You can get started today for just $27. Link in the description below, plus one payment of 27, or you can save even more if you pay in full. Um, how long do we have access to the uh, Grow With Video training? Um, for life. So you could take this under your own pace. You might be like, man, I don't know when I'm going to be able to consume this content. Even if you can't consume it for a month or two, when this special is over, it's not, this is ridiculous. You know, again, like this course is $200 on our website. The other training is all like our live streams that we do because you get a private Q&A with me and a small group. All that stuff, it's almost a thousand bucks. 50, 47 is the one pay 
price, but you can consume it on your own pace um, whenever you want. What's the difference between this program and other courses? So I've noticed maybe if you've caught some of our DNA here on Think Media, um, our stuff is, I, I care about it being real practical, like real strategic, actionable, not theory. There's too many people out there teaching in this kind of like how-to guru space. They're just teaching stuff they've never done before, or they've only done it at kind of a shallow level. They haven't done it repeatedly. They haven't helped hundreds and now thousands of students achieve success. They, you know, I think the nuances, the depth, the quality of the training. And one of the things we're committing to, we're committed to is always delivering way over delivering value. So if you invest $47 with us, then we want you to feel like I would have paid 500 for this, at least 10 X the value, 470 bucks, at least 10 X. And that's what everyone's feeling. Cause we've already had some people jump into this holiday bundle. They're like, this is crazy, man. There's so much stuff here. Do I get the bonuses with the monthly payments? Yes, you get all the bonuses with the monthly payments. How long does this offer stand? We are only running this offer. We have a, a, an enrollment cap um, that we wanna hit. And once we do, we're gonna pull the offer down. But I imagine first couple weeks in December. So it's not just the Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing. You have some time. But like mid-December, this offer will go away. You can still get all the programs, just not for the price. So that's growwithvideosale.com. And... Um, to see the full package here. All the details are there. But again, all of this you can get for as low as just $27 today. And you can start taking um, the training immediately to get results. Chris, I'm consistent. I create quality content. Content. I work my strategy and my channel is growing. Is there more I can do? I just keep pushing patience. So Chris, I'm going to see if I can look up your channel and Mel. Maybe we can try and uh, pull it up. So I want to see if we'll do a channel review for Chris to kind of study his channel and see what it is if you can find that. Nadia, would you recommend adding Amazon Associates once you reach a thousand subs or so? I think so. I think before you start doing Amazon Affiliates, I want you to have at least six videos posted. Six. A couple things going. I want, to ha I want you to have your channel branded because when you submit it to the application, they approve most these days, but you know, I want them to be able to see like, oh, this channel is all about uh, healthy remedies or eating healthy, you know, like that kind of has a niche that'll help you get approved. But the big key lately is you have a limited amount of time before um, you have to make a certain number of sales or they won't keep your account open. And so I think that if you feel like you're getting some traffic to the tune of maybe a few hundred views a video or like a hundred views a video, that'd be a good, good time to start. Um, if you're really, really early stage, that's not the first thing you want to do. You want to focus on building a little bit of momentum and kind of getting uh, getting going. Um, all right, so we're going to look at a channel review right now, That Sports Dude Network. So I like the channel um, so far. I, I kind of see what you're saying here, but I need a promise. So TSDN, I, I kind of see this is sort of hard to read though on the cover. And I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this either. Just hard to read. It's not... So really stand out. So I think this could use a, a rebrand a bit. Um, and But more than that, I want to have a promise because while I do get that it's about sports, then what I do next is I look at your thumbnails so it makes me think it's pretty much just football. And then I, as I scroll down, I see a few other things. But what's the promise? Like is it weekly videos about what? Like what is what's the promise, right? So here's kind of a template you could use. It's not like our way is the only way. Oh, our cover's gone. We have an old cover. But uh, the cover on Video Influencers, right? It says uh, weekly videos, weekly interviews and tips videos to help you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. And it's right on the cover. And, it, and so if someone was like, is this channel about sports? No. Is this channel about gardening? Nope. Is your channel about podcasting? No. It's about online video. That's video influencers, right? So I think that having a promise right on your channel, you know, we mentioned um, Heather's channel. She has, it's it's simple. Nice avatar though, good headshot. I mean, I think that's a good recommendation if it's a personal brand, having a good avatar image. The homeschool house, learning through life together. Now, 
The stated promise is kind of in the fact that it's a homeschool channel right there. That's kind of what I mean, though. That's sort of an example um, for you. You know, one person that's a member of um, of uh, the Grow With Video kind of holiday bundle, he was in uh, our, um, he's been in that course for a while, Posto Barbecue. You see, barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. Make a promise. And then that's when you've got your promise, then that's what you want to build consistent, strategic, quality content around, right? Consistent on the same messaging, the same promise. Now, Javen, he might do how to do steak, how to do chicken. He might do a barbecue review. He might even do five tips for, um, you know, staying sane when you have relatives over. Well, how is that on brand? Well, it's on brand because you barbecue during the holiday. You know what I mean? Like, you always want to tie it back, though, to say one theme, one idea. And where I think people get lost, especially as you're trying to grow subscribers, is what are people subscribing to? Like, well, I thought it was one thing, but then it was talking about something else, and then it was talking about something else. And so uh, let's keep going here. So we got, welcome to the Sports Network, your number one source. So I like all this. You got some promises here for, for DCIA AA sports. Our goal and purpose is to provide exposure for student athletes. So I think like, you know, your number one source for DCI AA sports like that, if that was like there, that'd be awesome. And then I also really like like your vibe down here. I saw it, uh, you know, I see you, I'm assuming this is you, you know, like you're a character here. So should you be on the cover? Should there be kind of a, a, a getting to know you with the visuals of what you get on the channel? One of the things I tried to do on my Sean Thinks channel was just put some visuals. Like you're going to kind of get like an interview or like a talking head video. You're going to get some football stuff. You're going to get this and you're going to get that. Sean Cano and then a couple promises. So I hope that helps. And um, that's kind of just as far as on your channel. Um, let's go a little bit deeper. And... Thanks for being here on this live chat. Smash like if you're getting some value and you're having some fun. Um, I see you uh, here. I see you, True Financials. I see you, Los Inexperto del Football. Good to see you. Stefano Pal, the Makun, the, the Mamuchos, the Mamuchos. Good to see you guys. And so, um, as far as the content goes, Game time highlights, game time, game time, game time highlights. I think studying a little bit of search-based stuff. I mean, I don't think game time would be first. I think that there is some opportunity for some search-based stuff. Like even just if we look at, um, this is kind of out of my domain, but so look at this. I mean, you could potentially, and maybe you already do, you want to rank, you do. So this is cool. So you're ranking for like these niche channels. So then the other thing I would say, and this kind of maybe answers your question more directly. Let me go a little bit deeper on what I was talking about on keywords though. So you're ranking for like the Balu Knights. Sorry about that. Let's go to the Woodson Warriors. Real local opportunity to rank here. Keep in mind that your niche, like these teams and this, you know, the interest here, because you're dominating. That's kind of what my sense, and that's where I wanted to take it. You're in a niche, right? You're not as far as I can tell, like you're covering some teams and whatnot that maybe not massive people are actually searching for and looking for. But the cool thing about that is it looks like you're the biggest fish in a smaller pond. So sometimes I get it. It can just kind of be, it's tiring to put out content. It can be a challenge, but just keep doing what you're doing. Keep making your stuff better. Keep refining your message, your channel, your branding, your content. But based, when I look at the traction you're getting, it's pretty impressive. And let's look at one final page here. I love vidIQ, so just giving me a snapshot of the stats. And um, and this is a great page to look at. So sometimes it doesn't load. Or we need more traffic because what we want to see on that page is we want to see consistent growth. So let me see here. I mean, okay, I mean, a couple things. One, three weeks ago, 900 views, 400 views. 300 views. I mean, that's amazing. That's you can do more of that. But I just, I just got the biggest thing for you right here. You ready? You ready for the, the bomb of the day? You got to post consistently. And I see there has been some consistency, but your last upload was three weeks ago. 
Come on, Think Media. I need you. And this goes for all of us, me included, my team included. Like, let's go back to the formula we started this training on, consistent strategic quality content. It's the baseline. Before even worrying about advanced stuff, you got to be, I think, getting at least one video up a week. If you're getting 1,000 to 500 views a video, if you doubled your uploads, you double your views, right? Because you already know that you're getting at least 350 to over 1,000 views a video. So if you if you get 1,000 views a video, one video upload a week, guess what? You'll get 2,000 views of two uploads. And you'll probably get 1,100 or 1,200 each because now there's more momentum and it's triggering the algorithm once you got some momentum. If you want to double your views, double your uploads, consistent, more content. Strategic though, search. We're not going to go super deep here, but like you're already ranking for some terms in your niche. What are some search opportunities? And what are also some trends and some things that you could maybe growth hack? Quality, keep leveling up your quality and content. That's your baseline. Last upload was three weeks ago. I'm empathetic, but again, you want a consistent growth momentum? You got to keep showing up consistently. And I don't want to like stay here for too long, but let's think about this from a trust standpoint. I, I get it. The struggle is real. You're trying to do YouTube and create content while you're raising kids and going to school. You're trying to create content while other people are just, you know, binge watching The Office and, and not working when they get off work. That's fine, but you're putting in extra hustle. So I get it. You might miss a week. The problem with that, though, is trust is built by consistency. I didn't build a deep relationship with my wife by just dating her once and then ignoring her for 10 years, right? The re- and, and even after you're married, come on, let me know if you're married in live chat, if you could relate to this, you gotta keep doing the things you did at first, like keep saying I love you, keep encouraging the person, you gotta have consistency. And, and what do they say if you don't show up, you're absent? If you're absent for a long amount of time, that person doesn't trust you as much anymore. They don't, they, they, they can't depend on you. Kind of like YouTube. You're like, look, I'm going to be here. I'm going to make you a promise. You're going to get this kind of sports content from me. You're going to get this kind of, you know, personal branding, marketing content from me. You're going to get this this many vlogs. Every Tuesday, I'm going to upload a video that's going to make you laugh. And hey, the world's a hard place. And there's a lot of discouraging things out there. And a lot of things that can pull you down and make you depressed and be super disheartening in the world today. So you're like, look, I understand that. I'm going to make you laugh on Tuesdays. And every, you're there for three weeks, but then you're gone for two months. How could you ever expect to build momentum? You actually don't need a course. You need to keep posting. And then when you're posting consistently, then you want to layer on that strategy, right? When you're posting consistently, then you can layer on the strategy. And that's the heart behind this uh, this um, you know bundle that we're putting together is it so you get the strategies, it's so you get productivity training so that you can post consistently, and it's also so that um, you also get um, clarity, right? So you know your niche and how to be different, plus a lot of extra bonus training. All of that's available right now. Link in the description below, growwithvideosale.com, and uh, check that out. I hope that channel review was helpful. Chris, thanks so much for hanging out here. Nadia, uh, we answered yours. Johnny, have you looked at cross-promotion on Twitch platform? and all the pop-ups for YouTube uh, and other channels. Um, I haven't studied Twitch too much. I think there is some value there, but here is one of my number one pieces of social media advice. Typically, your goal should not be to use a social media platform to grow your YouTube channel. Your goal should be to use social media platforms to to grow that social media platform. So what do I mean? You don't use Instagram only to let people know about your YouTube videos, you play by the rules on Instagram to grow on Instagram. Only then, when you have real influence on Instagram and some people are paying attention and you're putting out quality content that's valuable native right there on the Instagram platform, then you might say, hey, friends here, did you know I have a YouTube channel? And people will actually go. So what I mean is sometimes people just start an Instagram account and all they ever do is just say, I have a new video out. They just take, they put their thumbnails there That's not the point of it. It's like a billboard, just like a marketing wall. There's no actual value. So what you actually have to buy into, and that's what we teach in this social media growth accelerator. It's a $200 training that is included as a free bonus during this growth video holiday bundle. But in that, what we would teach is 
I want to grow my Instagram by adding value just on my Instagram. I want there to be some tips, like I think even right here, right? Um, I'll show you one just kind of example. I just said two quick video gear tips. Number one, make a list of the video gear software and accessories you want in 2019. This helps you focus on the gear you actually need and avoid impulse buys. Number two, then research each item and the prices before the sale starts using sites like camelcamelcamel.com. Not all sales are actually good sales. So, so, so see what I did here. I put up a, a good photo and whatever level, it's not to say, I mean, we got Omar on the Think Media team. He's the guy who dicked the photo. It's why the photos are good because Omar is world-class and it's nice having him living seven minutes from my house and you know we're friends and so we're able to collab and build together. But you know, if you just, it's this idea, if you just consumed that content on Instagram, could it be valuable without you leaving the platform? I hope the answer is yes. Two quick tips, read them right here, value before even leaving the platform. But then also, like by the way, I also dropped a new video on Think Media about the best tripod under $100, swipe for a preview. I've got some holiday tech live streams and videos coming your way soon. Um, and so then you can actually swipe and this is a little preview of the video on my Instagram, done as a carousel post. And the way I did this was I just opened up my YouTube app, I turned on the screen capture, I turned on screen capture, played the video on my phone for a few seconds, uh, turned off screen capture, and then I uploaded that as the second photo, and I, I squished it into a square. So that's just a screen capture, squished into a square in the carousel. So you might be like, whoa, that's a little bit more work than I would typically do on Instagram. But that's the point. Like, you gotta be putting out some quality, some thought, some value into your posts so that people can get value on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, without having to go anywhere else. And then maybe some people are like, oh, but if I do wanna go deeper with this, you just educate and let them know about it. You know, another example, what I think is right here, this isn't, there's no call to action anywhere. Again, too many people are only ever using their social media platforms to send somebody, somebody somewhere else. This is 60 seconds of value right on Instagram. There's no links out. There's no, there's no go do anything else. People don't want to do anything else. Like I don't want, when I'm on Instagram, I don't want to leave. But if I do want to leave, it's because I've gotten value from you. And then you're like, hey, there's this longer form. It doesn't even fit here. It's over on YouTube. I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch that right now. Let me know if you're getting value out of uh, that. And we definitely go deeper than that. In a bonus, you get entirely free. Like in a, in a bonus, Social Media Mastery is, um, is part of this bundle. And so again, growwithvideosale.com and you get the Social Media Growth Accelerator as well where you can learn some of those nuanced tips for growing your influence on social media so that you can get a following, whether you wanna be a social media influencer, generate leads for your business, um, you know, sell products, whatever it is you wanna do. But then also, if you wanna grow your YouTube channel, again, the way you're gonna do it is by posting native content. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm really pumped about LinkedIn right now. And so, uh, another example. So here's some of the stuff I've been doing over on LinkedIn. We just posted a video on video influencers about why LinkedIn is basically the most slept on platform right now for um, online video. You probably didn't even know it was an online video platform. They, they, they only allowed you to upload online video on LinkedIn, uh, like native videos to the LinkedIn platform. It's about a year old. And people are blowing up because there's like nobody there doing anything. And so this right here is not a very great post. Why? Because it links to YouTube, see? But I mean, you might as well do it. You still got 44 views. You can see there's not a much, much engagement. But this, a little bit better, five likes. It's a native video uploaded right here that is complete value right here, right? This is a link to YouTube. This is a native upload, 424 views, pretty cool. This is also linked to YouTube. This is value right on the platform. And, and it proves itself in the me metrics themselves. Like you could see that when you put out quality content that is meant to actually be right in the platform itself, Look at this one, 4,532 views, just right in the platform, no links out, resonated with people, 20 comments, testing different content. So again, 
as we go into 2019, I think this is important. I also think you don't need to be on every single platform if you're doing this as a side hustle because you're gonna just be spread too thin. So what I want you to do, and this is a great thing to write down as you're going through the holidays and planning out your 2019 uh, plan, looking back over the last year, what went well? What was frustrating? What didn't work as well uh, in the future? And if YouTube is your main platform, write that down. That's, my, that's your primary. I only really want you to have one to two support platforms. Uh, Twitter kind of doesn't necessarily count because Twitter, we should all be on Twitter. It's a, it's a cocktail party. It's, it's a networking party online. Even if you don't use it to, to push out links, you can reach out to brands. You can reach out to influencers. It is a, a place people can reach out to you for collaboration. So I hope your Twitter is updated and you got a good picture. You don't need to use it for marketing. You can use it for connections, relationships. So I would say pick either Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook. For some of you, Pinterest is super relevant. And actually do one of like two of those, maybe not even two, like YouTube's maybe number one for you. You kind of dabble on Pinterest because it's also a search engine. And then Instagram's your second. And you're like, I'm gonna master Instagram this year. I'm gonna build my influence on Instagram. And then here and there, I'm gonna educate people there that I also have a YouTube channel. But I'm gonna treat it as if I almost didn't. I'm gonna build my Instagram to build my Instagram. All right, we've hit that deeply. Uh, We're gonna take some more questions. Smash like if you're getting value out of this. And let me know what your favorite um, holiday dish is. No matter where you are in the world, how is it that you celebrate? What's your favorite food during the holidays? Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I ate some turkey here in America. I ate some turkey, some mashed potatoes, some gravy at Heather's house. She crushed it on Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, her and Isaiah, she's on the Think Media team. I, got, I took some leftovers home. And after this live stream, you better know what I'm having. I'm having some gravy, some mashed potatoes, some Brussels sprouts, mm, some broccoli, excited ham Brittany uh Brainy says trifle pudding Chrissy says that sounds delicious mashed potatoes and wine Jax together or just mashed potatoes and a glass of wine I'm just kidding um that's awesome cheers uh we celebrated Thanksgiving with Palea man I hope I can r- say stuff right uh my mom's cranberry salad Ooh, that sounds good Pecan pie. Oh, now the live chat is lit up. Man, it's it's two in the afternoon during this live. And you guys are making me hungry, man. Stuffing in cranberry sauce. Raw eggnog. Ooh, that's the best, Steven. Homemade noodles, Tim. Um, how many videos per week at least? Views by Coco? Really good question. I think one per week. I also want to give you a principle for 2019 that I think really matters. I think... Man, it's it's tough to say this because people ask quality or quantity on YouTube. To be honest, it's it's never it shouldn't be a fight. It's both. But in my opinion, quality is more important. I think that some people I see, and by the way, I I look at your guys' stuff. I mean, I see you in the comments, I click through, I look at your channels. Some of you are posting way too much based on the results you're getting. You're posting like five days a week. And what I wish you would do is consolidate all five of those uploads into one super upload. That's a lot more quality. And then what I mean by quality is like, think about this. What I try to do on Think Media is I just did a Black Friday video today. And and again, I'm not just trying to, I'm just using this as an example. So I did a Black Friday video earlier today. And I did it on a different channel than this, and that's why it's not here. So this is Video Influencers um, over on Think Media. And so I would say a couple things about it. Number one, I've invested no less than eight hours going into the tra- going into this video. So I've sat in bed looking at websites. I've watched what other YouTubers are talking about. And then it's probably fair to say that I've invested in learning video since 2003. <laughs> So it's it's like my lane. So some of you, you're such experts at stuff, you can land and scan, like you skim a page, what used to take you 20 hours, now it could take you two, but because you've been doing it for so long. And today I took, but at least this week, about eight hours, a little bit last night, a little bit yesterday morning, 
uh, you know, places you use your smartphone, like the restroom. Is that okay? Is that okay to talk about? Be honest. Can we be honest here? I'm watching, I'm, I'm consuming, I'm, and I'm taking notes and I'm screenshotting things and I'm creating a slide deck. And then in 24 minutes, I'm delivering what I hope is valuable. Okay. It was a 24 minutes and the bulk of the content was probably done in about 20 minutes. A lot of what we do on YouTube as it pertains to quality is that you are doing the research, experiencing the pain, testing the products, comparing the two products, spending three months comparing two different blenders or trying two different supplements or comparing two different screen, uh, skin creams. And then what you're doing is you're consolidating your time, your mistakes, the money you wasted, the money you saved, all of that into like a five minute edited video. And if you do that, it doesn't matter if the lighting's good. If you do that, the end user goes, my gosh, this person invested, they put time into this. Time, and it doesn't mean that it has to always take massive time, but does that make sense? And you've probably watched it, you're like, dude, this video just saved me time. Whoa, I was about to buy the wrong thing. This person just saved me money. Or the reality is, is if you watch a channel like a PewDiePie, any nine-year-old army uh, here, you know, shout it out. Some of you might be like, I don't watch PewDiePie, which is fine. And PewDiePie is maybe a love or hate thing. But one of the things, he has as an editor, but one of the things you gotta recognize about PewDiePie's videos right now, and I think he's worth watching some of his greatest hits, he's the biggest YouTuber. Understand him or not, why wouldn't you? If you're on YouTube, wouldn't you? Oh, by the way, soon to be dethroned by T-Series if he wasn't already. But nevertheless, I'm guessing his editors, which edit full time, um, and he's got a couple of them, and he uploads more or less daily, probably like five, six uploads a week. He, um, they probably spend five, four to eight hours per video editing. Now I understand you can't do that much because you're like, Sean, I got a side hustle. But here's my point. Like there's, there's sound effects, there's jump cuts, there's timing on the jokes, there's B-roll clips, there's memes that are looked up. There's, there's a lot put into it. Um, I was watching Valuetainment. It's a great entrepreneur channel. He was talking about that. He said this, whenever we take longer on our content, making it more quality, it has a big, bigger impact. And it just makes sense because when content is valuable, and I'm not talking about fancy, I'm saying like, it's funny. It really is funny or it really is valuable. People will respect and get value. They'll see you're good for it. All of that was to say in answer to this question, how many times should I upload a week? Three I just want you to be putting out something you're proud of for whatever you are on the journey and something that delivers significant value to that end user. And so if you only have a couple hours, of, and that's why, by the way, so if your time is so limited, that's why I, want, I don't want you uploading three to seven videos a week. I want you to put energy into something that'll be ultra, ultra valuable. But the reason that's also so powerful is because YouTube is a search engine. So when you put out a valuable piece of evergreen content, it'll get views, even though you make the video once, people will keep watching it for weeks, months, and years to come if it ranks and is valuable. So this is the trending tab you get with vidIQ. These are videos on Think Media that are getting velocity. This means views per hour. So every hour, 133 people watch this video. Okay, now this is a how to make money on YouTube video. It's 18 minutes long. Like this was slide, I designed slides. I, I, I designed training. I, you know, I took screenshots. I broke down case studies. I like, I went in depth and there's probably a reason it has a million views. The topic, yes, but the value. So I would rather you put something quality out once every two weeks though, that could get, views two years from now, if possible, right? Makes sense and, and building up this moment, this, this momentum of views. So you could look at this video. This is a two year old video and it's 10 minutes long. I'm talking, I use different examples, different screenshots, there's editing, there's tutorial. All I'm saying, substantive, substantive. And this could seem daunting, but I want you to win. And that's also why we have training. If you want to get a, a page where you're getting anywhere from 2,500 views every 60 minutes. That's what happens on Think Media, whether we post new videos or not. These videos, 60 people an hour are watching this video. 27 people an hour are watching this video. 
21 people an hour, views per hour, are watching cheap camera lenses from two years ago. You know, there's some videos that might even be longer than that. I mean, most two years ago, sometimes, I, in fact, one of them, watch this. This is three years old. It's still getting 77 views an hour. If you want to build a YouTube channel like that, by the way, if you ever come to Think Media, I know there's all these different like gurus out there, there's internet marketers and they're like Ferraris and all that stuff, whatever. I think that stuff is, is just whatever. But like, we're not get rich quick. This isn't like some trick, some online cash machine where you just put out a video and it just money magically appears. Our content and our advanced training, like our Grow With Video Holiday Bundle, is about deep strategic training so you can master the platform. You can master your message. You can learn the nuances and the distinctions and the growth strategies for succeeding on YouTube. And so um, it's not about overnight success. And I got it. This is, by the way, this isn't like a lot of what people will talk about is there'll be some photograph of like some dude. Have you seen this in the internet marketing community? They're on a beach with a laptop and like a pina colada talking about how like, you know, money just transfers in their bank account on autopilot. Like most of that is BS um, because this stuff really does take work. With us, you got to put in the work because you, you got to no matter what. You probably learned that. There's no magic pill, but there is a roadmap to success. You're not going to try to climb, climb Mount Everest by just winging it and seeing if you could figure out on your own. What you do is you get a guide. You invest in a guide you invest in a roadmap, you invest in training, in the literally training. Like there's coaching programs and you do the, you go through the whole thing so that you can succeed climbing that daunting task. I've never been more assured that there's massive opportunity to grow on YouTube right now with the current state of YouTube right now, but you definitely do need an edge and that's by having better strategies, right? And so that's the point of this. And so uh, if you're joining the live stream, we've been talking a little bit about our Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. It's just $27 right now and uh, to get started in one additional payment of 27 or 47 for the whole thing. And you get Grow With Video, the full digital course, video product review profits, the social media growth accelerator. You get a live training with me that's private, so just a few people um, in 2019. We'll do more channel reviews. In fact, let's do another channel review coming up. Melissa, I'm going to let you um, pick. And um, let's take another question. Suka, what would be a good affiliate program for non-review channels? Well, I think for non-review channels, not everything has to be a review, but every... Suka, maybe tell me what your niche is. And Melissa, if you can find that. Because what you want to do... Every niche has products and not every channel needs to be a channel review, a product review channel. Makes sense. So what I mean is your channel could be about um, fitness, excuse me, and it could actually be workout tutorials, like 25 minute or like workout with me. And, it, and you just add value. Like once a week, every Monday, you go live on YouTube. You set up your phone on a tripod and you get in front of it and you do a, a hit exercise for 20 minutes and people can follow along. So people are getting free workouts and they can watch them on their phone or on their computer. And you just do that every week. So then someday though, you just do a video about your five favorite supplements or your five favorite accessories. Or someday you go this creatine versus that creatine, you know, or like whatever it is. And so um, at the end of the day, you could just do some videos that are affiliate based. So let me ask you this, whatever your niche, niche is, Suka, are any products in your niche sold on Amazon? Because there's that's one affiliate program. And if I knew your niche, we could talk about some others as well. Johnny Sweatpants with the channel review, with the Super Chat, I should say. By the way, Super Chat gets your question and your channel potentially bumped to the top. One ask is we're talking about YouTube. I guess, I mean, you could Super Chat anything, but like you're like, Sean, what's the meaning of life? Uh, is a YouTube strategy um, live stream. We could talk about that at another time, right? And so, but Johnny Sweatpants, thanks for the super chat. Would you review one of my videos on my new YouTube channel? Would love to know your thoughts of quality in the in the space. So I'm gonna try to do this with some headphones on. 
Um, I don't initially know what your channel is about. Let me scroll down a little bit. Behind sweatpants. Okay, create M50 unboxing. I would love why, why this is why stream coaches matter. So I understand this is a new channel, but I don't understand what it's about just from looking at it. So what's the promise? I would love a promise up top. Let me check out the about page. Um, no about page. So everybody, here's some practical holiday, winter, fall cleaning for your YouTube channel. What season is it where you are in the world? Make sure just your best practices of your channel are updated. Here they are. Cover image, avatar, social media links. Johnny's doing a great job here. About page. Now, does your about page like, will it be life-changing? Will it uh, change everything if you fill out your about page? Not necessarily, but here's what it will do. It'll force you to think about what you're actually doing. You know what I mean? Like it'll force you to, to articulate and clarify your promise, your value proposition. So right here, thanks for checking out Think Media. My name is Sean Cannell and this channel is all about the best tips and tools for online video. On this YouTube channel, you'll find, and here's the promise, weekly tech, video gear, lighting, and audio gear reviews and tutorials. My passion is to help you find and master the tools for creating content like YouTube videos, podcasts, photos, and more. So it's a promise, right? So simply by writing it out, it'll bring you a lot of clarity. And by the way, you could use that same thing on your, your social media bios, different versions. You can use that same thing on your website. And when you sit down and you're like, wow, this might take me an hour to write. It might, because you should, you should really think about the powerful language and words. You're a communicator about what your value proposition of your channel is, what people can expect and what you're promising them. Um, jumping in right now, real quick here to one of Johnny's videos. Um, you can't hear him. So first thing that happened here, Johnny, is just as a video review, I, I love starting with the person on camera. Even in today's live stream for the replay, the very first words in the video are, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my latest tips and tricks for growing your influence on YouTube. I don't remember what I said. You wanna lead with the value proposition the first few seconds here are silence and there is the promise. So this isn't too bad because I get to see you. I see you're holding something and I see that. So I like that, but it's just kind of silent for four seconds. And then that's, that's cool. I mean, it's just a little thing, but the temp, like I usually, you, you, if you've watched Think Media, it's that hook, then it's kind of branded intro and then it's welcoming everybody. So that was my first observation. Good energy, I love your vibe on camera. I also have those Sennheiser headphones, those sound dope. Um, love your setup, come on, it's a pretty dope setup. Um, think media, don't you think? Good articulation. From where you're starting here, I mean, as far as how, how confident you already are on camera, all of this kind of stuff, it's legit, man. Um, so I like that. And it's an unboxing, so to be honest, it's really good because you're just unboxing and that's what an unboxing is. One thing to think about, I mean, again, I, I, I think done is better than perfect. You shot this video, you got it done. But think about the production value. I mean, you're sitting in front of your desk, kind of cluttered, kind of wiry, which could be kind of distracting. You gotta use the assets that you have. But for unboxing, some people do an overhead angle, just a few nuances. But let's just talk about that. Number one, I love this video. Number two, great job. Number three, the reason though, maybe having the overhead camera, having a clean table, you know, bringing some nuances to how you do your unboxing, it's because it's valuable. You're advocating for the viewer. You're showing them more angles. You're showing them good lighting. And I'm not even talking about this video. I'm talking about unboxings in general. What makes someone's unboxing better than somebody else's? Maybe how knowledgeable they are about the product, the visuals, the angles they show, so this is like to set goals for all of us in Think Media. The angles that they show. Here's a couple other things. Let's go all the way back to Hector's question about standing out. Maybe the way you do your show. Maybe the way you do your show is you sample craft beer while you do unboxings. And like, and, and, there's, and maybe there's segments. Maybe there's like, um, it's the chord segment. You do tech, you know, you're like, let's see what chords come for this. And I'm just making stuff up. But like, maybe there's kind of a musical segment. Maybe you do have sound effects on like a sample pad. 
right? Like brand it out, like study the other, what other people are doing and think about, man, I love these other guys unboxings, but it's so factual. There's no personality. There's no emotion. There's no vibe. There's no music. Bring your vibe to it. And then by the way, Johnny, like for you, but be you like, just think about what you wish. That's kind of like a great summary of it all. What, what, what is the concept? What content is no miss for you? Meaning shows up in your feed. Ah, you never scroll past that creator. It's no miss, man. The stuff they put out is always good or it's always entertaining or I just like it. I mean, shoot, people don't even, other people don't even see why I like it, but I know I do because that person's kind of funny or they always, you know, here's what I mean. There's a, there's a, uh, a channel in Asia, I believe it's called cooking with dog. It's a billion cooking shows in the world. This particular show cooking with dog is cooking a lot of Asian cuisine, but the dog is always there. There's the dog in a little hat on the table cooking with dog. So what's different is better than better. What's unique about your cooking show? There's a dog on the counter. Is that a real dog? It's very still. It doesn't look like... Now, there are times when that dog is real, but... Cooking with dog. There's lots of... Co- Benji's got a cooking show from Video Influencers. You might have a cooking show. You know what I mean? But, like, just different. Like, you just... Cooking with dog. It's different. Um, okay. We have a couple other channel reviews. We uh, aren't going to be on here too much longer. We're actually going to be on here quite a while longer, but just as far as Super Chat goes... I don't think we have the bandwidth for many more, but the ones who have come in, we'll do those. So um, how could your channel be different? And uh, let me know that, and then we'll get into some of these. How often should I do a giveaway? I think that giveaways are good. I mean, as often as you can, but problem with giveaways, is the truth is a lot of people will subscribe or they will follow just so they can be entered and they'll unsubscribe later. That's one problem. The second problem is make sure your giveaway is on brand. If your channel is cooking with dog and you're like, we're giving away an iPad. Well, dude, everybody wants an iPad. So they may not be in love with your content and your brand, but they want an iPad. Whereas if you had a cooking channel and on your cooking channel, it's Asian cuisine. So maybe you have your favorite wok, W-O-K. And that wok is on... um, is like super cool and you talk about all the time. So your giveaway is for a walk, right? Well, what would that determine? It would determine that someone who enters to win that wants to win cooking supplies. So they're on brand for you, makes sense? So if you do a giveaway, try and give away things that are aligned with your target audience and kind of the psychology of your audience. Because again, you're like, we're giving away $1,000. Well, dude, everybody wants (laughs) $1,000. Shoot, like I'll follow and retweet for, you know what I mean? And then like, I I won't pay attention in the future. So try to align your giveaway with your um, brand of your channel, the promise of your channel. Um, We're gonna do a couple more channel reviews, but I just wanna make sure that everybody before you go, if you're in a rush, has a chance to get the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle. You could get the whole thing for $27 plus 1x uh, payment of 27. That's a little bit over 50, like 54. Or you could save a few dollars by paying in full. And it's all at growwithvideosale.com. You can also click the link in the description. That'll take you to a page with all the information. And here's here's the uh, page. First of all, you can see everything you get. This is at growwithvideosale.com. And so... Check that out. You see all the bonuses. And here's inside of Growth Video. This is what happens when you enroll today. You get inside of a members area and you'll have a private login just for you. A couple announcements here. And then as you log in, you'll be able to watch these trainings and you'll be able to see all of this content. And in the part one here, you have the Clarify and Amplify training, the power of productivity. So you can see here, this is Heather's training um, where she breaks down her strategies for how she grew a YouTube channel to over 11,000, um, subscribers and over 400,000 video views in less than 10 hours a month. And to be honest, she's done such a great job. Some of these months she's done zero hours. She hasn't even uploaded videos, but what's insane about that. I'll prove it to you how crazy it is, is that she's recently did a stream, but typically when you go to her stats here, 
you know, I'm telling you to upload once a week. She's pretty busy helping us build Think and doing other things. She's published one video in the last month, but her channel got 11,310 views and 261 new subscribers. And she's teaching the productivity training in there. It's pretty crazy, right? And so you've got that. You've got the video growth strategy sessions right here. Online power business tools. You know, here's another bonus I didn't even tell you about. You get this YouTube live advanced training bonus also in here. Growth hack, YouTube, and social media. That's different than the social media growth accelerator. You get the power of playlists. Man, there's a lot of, this is, it's, it's crazy. This is the by far best bundle we've ever offered. It's a growth video holiday bundle. Um, you could get started today for just 27. You get instant access and then another payment of $27 is due a month later or just paying full. You get the whole thing, including all the bonuses that includes video product review profits, which breaks down how, um, I one product review video and many different product review videos different than just Amazon, by the way, I just spent yesterday, everyone's, you know, Thanksgiving, they're kind of chilling. We weren't going over to our, our meal until the afternoon. I spent all morning getting our affiliate programs updated, share a sale, impact radius, ClickBank, um, Adobe, uh, Envato, uh, what else? Of course, Amazon, BH Photo, uh, Gearbest. These are just some of the affiliate programs. Other people, I promote their stuff for them. And so video product review profits, you're gonna absolutely love that bonus. Um, you also get the social media growth accelerator. And so all of that is part of this as well. That's $197 value training. And you also get a private group coaching call. It's gonna be just a small group of us that take advantage of the holiday bundle. We will be able to do more channel reviews, more specific Q&A for you, as well as going into 2019, um, talking about those fresh growth strategies as we look at a new year. Just so you know how seriously I take my craft, you know, when we go into the holidays, it's, I don't even see this as, I rest, because rest is super important. Tired eyes rarely see a bright future. But I love what I do. So, man, I study. I read. I, I, I watch courses. And I'm in an advantage from not only having put in about 30,000 of hours into online video and YouTube uh, personally, of continuing to go deeper in marketing, positioning, branding, uh, audiobooks, training. It's just kind of how I'm wired. It's the calling. It's what I love to do. And, and my passion is like, I know other people don't have time for that. Like, like, hey, Sean, go climb the mountain and bring back the best stuff and just tell us the stuff that works, that's the most important, that's working now, the latest case studies. That's kind of the stuff that we talk about on these calls. And so anyways, you get all of those bonuses, over $741 worth of exclusive bonuses. There's a 30-day um, money-back guarantee. So your enrollment is totally risk-free and you get all of this training for just... $27 to get started or 47 is the one pay option. And that is the grow with video holiday bundle. I'm so pumped about it because it's, it's absolutely insane. Here's what our mission is. Here's what we want to do. We're on a mission to help 10,000 people create a full-time living, doing what they love and making a difference using online video. I'm committed ever since I was able to quit my job a couple years ago, um, three years ago now. I was fired by all my freelance clients. I lost all of them October 2015 in one month. Um, super scary time because we weren't making a full-time income or anywhere near from online. And I went all in with YouTube. And eventually, I not only was able to pay our bills in just a few short months, but then we made a six-figure income. And when we hit that, I had an option in my life. Look, when I was 21, I was like, that's a dream, man. If I can make a six-figure income, work from home, Maybe you've heard our story. You know, one of the reasons I want to work from home is just because there's some chronic illness stuff that my wife deals with and we wanted the freedom and flexibility for that. I'm just here in my home right here in Vegas and um, I wanted the flexibility to be able to do what I, I mean, it's an ultimate privilege to be able to do what you love for a living and, you know, cash in on your passion, make a living doing what you love. So when I hit six figures, I, I really had two options. I could settle um, and not in a bad way, but just like keep, keep kind of being a YouTuber, a solo YouTuber. But I, I felt challenged even really as another dimension of my calling. Once I'd hit that level, I was like, man, I got to tell people about this. And really since that time I've devoted my life to helping others build their influence and their income with online video, 
One of the ways we're able to do that is because we've scaled with the team. So one of the reasons we've needed to grow our business and grow our brand is now there's Melissa helping and there's Heather and there's Kyle and there's Omar. So there's that. And then, of course, there's bringing you the most world-class, best training on planet Earth so you can get results with YouTube and online video platforms. And that's what we're committed to doing. And so I'm so excited about this growth video bundle because I know there's some people who maybe you've never done a course with us, you've never gone to a deeper level, $47 $47 total, one payment of 27 to start today. You're going to get so much training that lit- literally, I mean, email me at, at 60 days later and say, look, I consumed everything and Sean, it, it just wasn't what I thought. We'll refund you. I mean, it's like, this is going to be probably the best investment you make this year in your YouTube channel, the holiday bundle. I mean, it's a lot of value. You're going to get a lot of clarity. And so, um, so check it out. That's all at growwithvideosale.com. And there's a link in the description below. And I just want you to be able to take advantage of it. I know you're going to love it. You're going to get results. And let's do a channel review. Liz Zorab. Thanks for the super chat. Living, growing, thriving. Couple things, Liz. First thing, I like your, your, your avatar, your headshot, because again, it's good shot composition. I see you. You're smiling. Love it. Two. The promise is good-ish because kind of I see the buy, buy their far, farm here, but and I kind of see this as a farm, but living, growing, thriving is are kind of like, in a way, meaningless adjectives. Are they adjec- adjectives? I don't know. I wasn't an English person, you know. Uh, I'm a college dropout. <laughs> you know, here I am. Uh, all I know is YouTube. So, um, but living, growing, thriving, like what though? Like, what is, what is the promise? Let's check out your, your about page. Um, join our adventure as we learn new skills and share our experiences at becoming self-efficient with a healthy dose of humor, chickens, ducks, and farmhouse cats. Love the channel. Love the niche. I, you already kind of have clarity here. Self-efficient. So, like, um, you know, what you want to be doing is kind of thinking of a tagline, like thinking of a, a promise and, and, and by the way, like if you put your tagline, your promise on your cover image, does that mean your YouTube channel is going to grow? No. Here's the thing. The, I would argue that the harder work is actually even knowing, is defining your tagline, defining your promise to your target audience, but then living up to it. So you want to be a little bit bold. I mean, look, here's what I'm saying. I'm bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. I I included the word the best. And I'm not trying to be hype filled. I'm I'm trying to live up to that. Now, maybe not everybody agrees that I do, but that's why I'm like, I got to actually study. You know what I mean? Like I got to, I actually then have to make a bold promise and then I got to follow up and deliver value. I'm saying get the Grow a Video Holiday Bundle because it's going to be the best investment you'll ever make in your YouTube channel this year at $47 total for the whole thing. That's a promise to you. And when you get inside, you're going to see it's legit. You're going to be like, okay, I see. So whatever your promise is, you might say like, uh, you know, not that you need to promise the most cutting edge information, but like think about that. And then you want to think about how it could be catchy how it can kind of roll off the tongue. And so like helping you learn the skills for a living, growing, thriving. So I'm just kind of throwing some stuff out there. I don't personally have clarity for you, Liz. Um, But you go even deeper down here. We share how to and how not to triumphs. Um, And you know, what I like is you're saying, join us on our adventure, like kind of follow us along. But I want to see you, you know? I mean, let's see. Join us on our journey so people can learn from you, but you don't really mention them. We share how to of our, in fact, the word you, there it is. Let me know what kind of videos or how to you would like to see. It's a little late um, in my opinion. And this is also, again, it's not just your about page what's written. It's actually getting this process into your very heart and mind that you're leading with you. Hey, welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm helping you. Like if you want to grow your YouTube channel, then hey, hang out with Think Media. Chill with us. It's all about you. This channel is about you. It's not actually about me. I don't I don't come on here and just say like, you know, just have some stuff I want to get off my chest today. <laughs> you know, uh, 
been kind of going through a lot. Like, that's probably not why you're here. You're like, yo, give me the YouTube secrets, right? So here's, that's a, a tweak, Liz, is to think about in your language, what is the promise to the you? So like on this channel, you will find my passion is to help you. There's the Y-O-U. On this channel, you will find. Just a few tweaks. Not that that about page is gonna change everything for you, but I think it's the mentality shift that can help you level up your content. Secondly, great job overall on your channel. Let's actually hit the stats up. So right now, Liz, with the Buy Their Farm channel, is crushing it with 49,000 views a month, 520 new subscribers a month, and nine new videos a month. Those nine new videos a month have me pumped. One of the keys to actually having success on YouTube is posting videos on YouTube. That's tweetable, <laughs> right? Like, and, and you're doing it. So nine videos, like that's over two a week. So I love that. Consistent content, strategic. And um, I think there was a few insights there. Uh, I like that you got Patreon here. And I love that you have some patrons, so I see some momentum. You know, one of the biggest things here, Liz, that I'm noticing is you're just doing so much good stuff and you have so much momentum. Don't get discouraged, depending on how you're feeling right now. Keep going, keep posting. I'm loving your thumbnails. Too, a lot of thumbnails are either A, they have too many words and they're too cluttered and they use unreadable fonts. That's not true for you. So this home setting looks great to me. Sinkhole repair, very practical. Liz, I just want to applaud you. And I want to say, of course, there's stuff you could tweak and you can make better always like we all can, right? Because we always want to be lifelong learners and leveling up. But with the momentum you already have, I would try to double down. Um, I know you're already posting so many videos. Um, but. Oh, man, Liz, you're awesome. I want to visit you. Guys, you can't hear Liz, but I love her energy. It kind of pulls me in. Like I feel you walking up. I see your breath. I want to be there. Liz, you're crushing it. And so uh, I think there's um, a lot of good stuff. The, the last thing I would say, Liz, is, and we we're going to talk a little bit about this on this live stream. Smash like if you're getting value and you're pumped. We're here today hanging out. The last thing I want to say, Liz, is, um, is content strategy. This is true for all of us. If you're gonna win on YouTube in 2019, it's because you have a content strategy. And, and to the degree in which you grow and the degree in which you break through, it's, it's gonna be to the degree of your content strategy and how good it is. Um, you know, the five things that are the most important in every YouTube video are of course your thumbnail, your title, but then you gotta have your description, your tags, um, and those are all really important for growing, right? But there's one thing that's more important than all of those. And if we look at your channel, we'll probably be able to prove it when we go to most popular. What the, the number one most important thing is, is topic. They are all important. But again, the best title, really good thumbnail, description and tags, the topic itself is gonna determine how clickable and how much interest there is. So here's a power question for you, Think Media. In 2019, what topics do you need to be talking about? What's hot? What's trending? And even in something like being around the farm and whatnot, there's probably some things that people want to know more than others. So for whatever reason, like how like this free rose plants nine months ago was a hot topic for you. Chances are it also is a ranking video and it's getting a, a lot of views, I would imagine, um, still, because free rose plants or free plants you know, for whatever reason. So maybe it's that, but what are the topics, you know? Um, so this is a topic, easy leaf mold, and maybe uh, other people are, are wanting to find that, right? It's what they're in. So you, so your topics, and maybe pull a pen out right now, Think Media, jot down some topics. Because when you hit the right topics with good thumbnails, good titles, description optimized, good tags, and good optimized content, boom, now you're on fire. But Liz, great channel, love what you're doing. Thanks so much for the super chat. I uh, hope you got some value out of that. And if anything, keep, like 
it's working, so keep doing more of what's working. Music Odyssey, thanks for the super chat. Here's what Music Odyssey says. Think, would really love a quick review of my channel. Would also like to know what equipment and how such clean audio is coming from your live streams. So first of all, we have Music Odyssey. I like the title because I feel the promise. I, I understand it's about music. Then I see the guitar. I see kind of the death metal deals. So I'm like, okay, I get it. Odyssey though is like a great word, but a vague word. Like here's an important thought. When it comes to standing out online, I believe it's more important to be clear than to be clever. I think it's important to be clever because that's like, that adds a little flavor. I think it's important to be colorful. That's where you add a little bit of your nuance, you know, in this case, maybe your brand death metal, that's going to be the vibe of your channel. Somebody else, you know, they've got pink hair and they're like, it's all flower, you know, whatever. That's kind of their, they're colorful. And I don't mean actually literal color. I mean, bringing your personality, your emotional, your vibe, your style to the table, but never at the expense. You never want to be colorful or clever, or clever at the expense of being clear. So even though I understand this is about music, again, when I land on this page, I'm not quite sure what it's about, and I would love to see some sort of a promise. All right, so now we're going to see that. So Music Odyssey is to broaden your musical horizons. Each week, we'll explore music we haven't heard before, usually outside of, um, the, of the standard stuff. Hip-hop head, talented R&B singer, okay? So then I'm going to go to my videos over here. Now, this is a good action item, and here's a great action item for everybody, Think Media is build your homepage out. So when I was on your homepage, all I see is uploads. I need all the rest of the sections, build it out. So on Think Media, you've got the whole section where if someone's not subscribed, they have like what to watch first. So here's for new visitors. New visitors are watching the best camera for YouTube video right here. It's not loading here. For returning subscribers, they're just watching the latest upload. But then things are broken down into different categories. So Music Odyssey, what are the different categories? For you, it could be musical genres or genres. Genres. How do you say that? Who knows? Um, but you want, you might even already have playlists. That's how you're going to organize your cat. So, so you could turn these into categories on your homepage and then you can move them around, right? And you could structure how they look. You can go in and say, I want it to be a vertical list. You can say, you could find different playlists. Do you, do you want it to be channels you're subscribed to? You can build out your homepage. So that's something to do. And, and then, so get, here's the thought too. This is the landing page. So on this page, what's the promise? Like helping you find new, cool new music or helping you discover the best music you've never heard. Hey, I don't know if that's a good tagline. It's kind of cool though. Helping you discover the best music you've never heard, whatever. And then maybe there's some visuals that show the styles because you've got kind of a tatted up death metal guy. Maybe you got a hip hop guy. I'm not sure. Um, and then what are your categories or if you will, your shows, you know, our shows are sometimes it's Q and A's like this. I did an affiliate marketing one back in the day. Sometimes it's a tech gear review. It's camera reviews. Sometimes it's a tutorial. That's a different type of show. How to use cameras. Sometimes it's YouTube tips. So now I'm breaking down my categories. So now that stuff's organized into playlists. So you music odyssey, you could do that on your channel. I would love to see that. I'm going to be honest. I think that. You, done is better than perfect when you're starting, but I think both your cover image and your avatar could use, use some help. Your, your avatar is kind of hard to read. This says like RV. What does that mean in the center there? It's kind of like a logo, but is it? I don't see it anywhere else. This is, I can sort of tell that's a music clef, but I don't really know what it is. You know, I think that your that's your overall kind of brand. So work on some of those things. Um, but overall... And then let's just jump in here. In fact, let's look at the winners. Here's a tip, Think Media. If you've been posting videos for a while, go to your videos or your analytics. Look at the videos that are performing the best by going to like most popular. And, and then um, like do more of what was the best. So if two months ago you got 4,700 views, that's awesome. Okay, why? So your, your reaction videos look like they're doing good, which is dope. So keep those up. Um, this goes back into topic too, right? 
the topic is, uh, I, I also people are discovering, like people are searching for Alice in Chains. People are searching for XXX, XXX uh, Tentacion. People are searching for um, MGK, right? So you're jumping into trends, which is great. You're in a great niche. So if you want to scale more, there might be passion videos or videos that serve your audience, but they may not be as popular of a topic. For you, it's hitting the hot topics that's going to be a trigger of a lot of growth. So, But study your winners, and that's what we should always be doing, auditing which videos are winning for us and which videos are not doing as well for us, and then doing more of what's winning. Um, I want to commend you, though, because your level of consistency here, the momentum I can see that you're getting as far as putting out content. Um, okay, so I see your logo much better and clearer there. I think that could be clearer. Oh, okay, now I'm understanding too. It's maybe the two of you guys. I would rather see that as like your avatar rather than the kind of hard to read, even here too. Like see it's, you know, with that angle, like it could just be front and center. I also like it better on black. It makes the blue and the gold pop more. But anyways, just consider a rebrand. I can see you've got the vibes, you can listen, you've got the stream set up. It's working, you're getting the views. This is another thing to be encouraged by. You might be like, yo, I wish I was growing faster. Everybody wishes they were growing faster. I wish, you know, what's the secret? Well, there's probably new strategies and other things, but half of what you're gonna win by doing is having the grit. Just keep posting. And then keep, as you're posting, to keep tweaking your content because small tweaks lead to giant peaks, get feedback from your audience, and, and look at one of the growth levers we have simply by posting content. Five videos in the last 30 days. And that's about one a week, so great job. And you've probably got some ranked videos, but 15,000 views a month. Put that in perspective if, if you're at all feeling discouraged by your results. Dude, my grandpa was a dentist. He also fought in World War II. And when he wanted, when he got out of being a air, fighter pilot, in World War II, he launched his company, brick and mortar, had a dental practice, had a couple people working for him, an, an admin assistant, and he had to grow his business. Word of mouth, newspaper ads, um, whatever, right? And now he's passed away and um, you know he's in heaven, but I always imagine us having this conversation someday where I'll get to heaven because he never got to see what we did in our brand or you know any of the stuff we're doing now. And he'd say, you know, what'd you do? I just imagine this conversation, you know, what, what, tell me about your life. What'd you, what'd you and Sonia, your wife, what'd you guys do? We're like, well, we, we were doing this YouTube thing and we we're like putting it out there. Oh man, that's crazy. And well, how did it work? We're like, well, you know, we use this platform called YouTube and helped us reach, I'm gonna use your numbers. You know, we just were posting videos and like 15,733 people a month were watching them. Seriously? Yeah, like we just did it from home, man. We set up a webcam, set up a camera, and we just film these videos and review music. And like, wow, well, that sounds crazy. Like, how much, how much did like that that channel that was distributing that content around the world, he didn't know about the internet. That it was distributing content around the world to total strangers who you've never met. He knew about TV, he knew about radio, he knew that it would cost him thousands of dollars to advertise on TV. He knew it would cost him thousands to advertise on radio about his dental practice to get in front of people and to have the chance to grow an audience. How much, Sean, did it cost to, to get that exposure and build a business and build a brand and build awareness? Well, Grandpa, I mean, it was, it was free. I mean, when I started, I had to buy a smartphone and I mean, YouTube was free and the distribution of the content was free. I had to pay for my internet connection, but and you go, wait a minute, you're telling me that YouTube, this platform that distributed your content around the world and let you build your brand, that it was free. And in that very moment, even though we're in heaven, I don't think you're allowed to do violent things in heaven. But even in that moment, I just, I know for sure my grandpa would punch me in the face. Just boom. He'd be like, wait, get out of town. Like uh, Elaine in Seidfeld, get out. And you would just shove me out of heaven, you know? Just shove me, just knock me back down to the earth. Because he'd be like, dude, what are you even talking about? And the reason I go into that is just as we look at the fact that even your channel is almost 100,000 views, is I just want to encourage you to basically hustle that we're living through a moment in time right now where like, I'd be all in on this stuff. Like if you've got proof of concept at all, or even if you're just starting, 
Like we are living through one of the most radical communication shifts in history where there's massive opportunity to build a job, a life, a living, a side income, part in time income, doing what you want, when you want. Is it hard? Yeah. I mean, does it take, is it challenging? Sure. But like it's possible. And so keep doing what you're doing. I mean, there's a few practical tips, but I want to encourage you. I look at numbers like this and I'm like, okay, proof of concept. Let me just get better. Let's think about how we can level up our content quality. Let's think about how we can level up our production quality. Let's think about what the hottest topics we could cover are, what trends we could follow are, and let's keep growing this and keep hustling this and put in the grit and tenacity and perseverance because YouTube is a, a marathon and not a sprint to break through because it already, I'm sure, is super fun. You're doing what you love. You're having fun, but it could be absolutely life-changing. Don't give up. Keep posting. And uh, thanks so much for the super chat and for being here for the channel review. Well, we were going to go about 60 minutes today. I don't even know what time we're at, but I have a feeling, Melissa, who's being held hostage by me at one hour, 53 minutes in. Hey, if you've got value out of this, can you smash the like button? Um, hit the thumbs up, young Prey, Ali, um, white heroes. The Palmer family of four. Mark the Greatest, thanks so much for being here. Ali, Rage Killer, great to uh, have you guys. Great hanging out. Couple things, and we'll answer a couple more questions, but we do got to land the plane as we come up to the top of the hour. If you got any value at all today, smash like, please. And if you know somebody who's maybe interested about getting into online video, we're doing the holiday bundle special, first of all. Um, I think you should pick it up yourself just because I think it's going to be awesome. Here's why. Uh, but maybe share it with somebody right now. Three big challenges. You want to grow on YouTube? How do you stand out? We go deep in that. We want to help you get clear. If you're not crystal clear, you want help writing that about page, figuring out your niche, figuring out the angle of your brand, you got to go through the growth video course. It's going to help. Um, how to stand out as YouTube gets more crowded. Different is better than better. How do you create consistent content with a busy schedule? If you are like, dude, it's, be- it's hard enough to get one video a month out, let alone I haven't even posted yet. I need to get my mind right, my productivity right, my focus right, my clarity right. That's what this is about because staying consistent over the long haul. Here's the other thing about it. You got to create a pace, a schedule that's sustainable. I heard a leader that I respect one day say this, the problem with an unsustainable pace is that it's unsustainable. Wow, there's another tweet, but it's pretty significant because sometimes I think we lie to ourselves. We're like, you know what? I can work two jobs, go to school full time. Some people ask me, they're like, Sean, you know, how can I find the time to do my YouTube channel? I'm taking 20 credits in college you know, I've got four jobs. I already have two kids. I'm also at, I work for NASA. You know what I mean? And they like list, and I'm like, that would take three people's lives to do what you're doing now. What's the point? Well, you might need to stop doing some stuff. But the point is, is that you can't burn the candle at both ends because it'll cause you to burn out. Now there's seasons of sacrifice. You got to you got to know that to get where to for me to get where I got now, where I'm sitting and where we're hanging out live, maybe you're here on the replay, we're still talking, thanks for still being here. To get where I got today, there were seasons where dude, I was in school. I was drinking a lot of Red Bulls, man. I was working back to back 10 10 14 at Red Robin. I'd work about 34 hours a week in 3 days making tips to pay bills. I was volunteering at a church, but it was leveling me up because I was learning communication, people skills. I was doing video. I was doing the video announcements there. I'm learning to be consistent. You know, I got married. We bought a house. I remember in 2005 when we got married and bought a house, we were in school full time. We had multiple jobs. We were, uh, I wasn't even creating content online. I was creating it all for my church. And uh, it was the worst year of our lives. (laughs) But it was also the best year of our lives because pressure makes diamonds. There's a lot more in you. You're capable of a lot more than you're probably doing right now. But all that to say, it was seasonal. 
That was a season where I was burning the candle at both ends, but I couldn't do that forever. So you might be in a season of great sacrifice, but the key is you do need a productivity schedule. You need a pace. You need a rhythm so that you don't burn out because YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. So you're not going to burn all your energy out in the first three months of 2019. You need to have a pace and a rhythm and a schedule and a calendar for the next 24 months. And don't be in such a rush to break through. I know we all want to win, but like, look, if would you be okay to really get disciplined, to really be strategic, and to really pace yourself on a content schedule for the next three years to change the rest of your life? Would you be willing to live, as one quote I heard, live like no one else today so that later in life you could live like no one else? I think the answer is yes, but that's a pace. Think about this as ramping up over the next couple years and not just the next couple days or weeks. And create consistent content, even if you got a busy schedule. And then what growth strategies are actually working right now? I talk about six in growth video, plus the fact that there's um, all this other training, including a lot of social media training. So just so this is on your radar, the Grow With Video Holiday Bundle is available for a very limited time. It'll be, it goes all the way through Cyber Monday and Black Friday and all that stuff, but it's going to end mid-November or early November because we're limiting... Um, uh, it's a limited enrollment because it's a massive training. Can you get into this training later? Yes, but the bonuses will go away and the price goes up. So if you want to get all of this for just $47 or just like one pay of, um, or, uh, two of, of 27, you could get all the bonuses, video product review profits, the social media growth accelerator, the live call with me, uh, group call and uh, growth video itself, the actual course. It's all in our holiday bundle. And I couldn't be more pumped about it, man. We've never done a holiday bundle. So this is the year. We thought, how can my team and I got together? How can we deliver ridiculously over-deliver value for the price of, of a nice lunch at a restaurant? Just throw ramen in one day, man. Just go, go ramen twice and, you've, and you could cover, uh, you know, or a, a handful of times and you could get the holiday bundle. I know it'll serve you. I know it'll add massive value. Um, it's all at growwithvideosale.com, link in the description below. Going to take a couple more questions though. And I want to just thank you so much for being here and hanging out. Super fun to see you. And I'm live by the way, Robert, I see you. Um, and recipe lounge, brainy tech, random things. Great to see you. Ran Wellers, Whalers Wally. I've noticed my poll posts on the community tab has been more effective than asking for comments. Any recommendations to grow the community tab? Well, that's great. So you already have the community tab, number one. That's awesome. You need, I think, 10,000 subscribers to get that. Maybe YouTube is releasing it to some other people. If you're wondering about the community tab, it's kind of like a Facebook wall, kind of. And once you have enough subscribers, you can post things like this or you could post... Um, links to videos on other channels. Like sometimes I'll do that. So I link to a video influencers video here. You're right. It is polls usually do better. Questions do better, right? Like, cause that's interactive. For example, this, this is what camera are you using, right? 286 comments versus four on a, on a promotional post, right? So this, because it's a question. So I think you're on the right track in the sense that um, you're seeing what works best, I think you want to have that rhythm. One book I can recommend, um, I think for YouTube social media, is a book by Gary Vaynerchuk called Jab, 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 Right Hook. And I'll put some recommended resources like that in the YouTube description. But it's, it's the idea that you're not even like selling anything or whatever, but like jab, jab, jab is like value, 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 and then eventually ask. And so sometimes I even think about that in regards to like going to do something. Cause sometimes it's a withdrawal. Like, Hey, will you go watch this video or will you go leave a comment on this new video? That's like asking you to do something. And the way you would be paying me would be with your time. So if you're adding value and creating conversation and doing polls, you can build a lot of momentum. But again, the posts that don't perform as well are because they don't, the audience does not like them as much. And typically if you give any kind of promotion, People aren't as pumped, right? People want everything for free or they want everything that's 
just never, and even a promotion, like it's like an Instagram post. Hey, my new video is out on YouTube. People don't like the posts that are all about sending you off Instagram. They like the ones that are right there native on Instagram that are like, like fully aligned, right? So I hope that helps. Um, and then I think just studying community tabs, like we just try to mix it up using visuals. We try to mix the content formats, linking to videos, some photos, some questions, some polls, a lot of different things. Yasin, uh, what would your advice be to do a, a channel in English? Why living in a non-English speaking country, is it worth it? It doesn't matter where you live. What matters is who you're trying to reach. So what, uh, what language does the audience you wanna reach speak? One of the biggest opportunities to grow on YouTube is to, to create channels that are not in English because you wanna talk about serving a niche. So for example, YouTube tips. If you, like I share YouTube tips, you go, oh, it's super crowded, but how many channels are sharing YouTube tips in German? I don't know, maybe a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Now you're entirely different. You're doing the same thing. You're doing personal development tips, leadership and personal development. Wow, that's super crowded with everybody from a Tony Robbins to like an Oprah to all these different people. But now you do it in, um, a foreign language and now you're serving people who speak that specific language might be a small, it makes sense. So I think that, um, I think that you can, and then the fact is that YouTube, it's going to be based on where people watch your content, right? So people might watch your content in America even though you live in Australia. My friend, Justin Brown, Primal Video, is, got a great channel. He's in Australia. The majority of his audience is in America and he speaks English. Now there could be obviously different examples than that, but like, it's just, it's, again, like it doesn't matter that he doesn't live in America as, as large as audience is in America. It also, America doesn't need to be your target, you know, whatever it is. But the summary is, do, what target, what language does your target audience speak? Speak that language. And another tip that we get asked a lot is if I speak two different languages, how do I do that on one channel? My advice is don't. Because if I subscribe to your channel, and I, by the way, I only speak English, and half your content is in a language I can't understand, it's annoying me, right? The promise of your channel is a certain type of value, but yet I'm getting all this content that I can't understand. Imagine that. It'd be like, It'd be like, hey, welcome to Think Media. And I just decided to make up, you know, I, I, I was, if I had made videos, you could not understand. You wouldn't be watching them. Like if you heard me for the first couple of minutes, you're like, he's not even speaking English today. Sean has decided to do this video in Chinese and I don't speak Chinese, you're gonna bounce, right? So I think just knowing the language of your target audience. One question is, what is the difference between VRA and Grow With Video Live? Which do you start with? That's a great question. Grow With Video is our starting point course. And it's also, though, doesn't mean it's for beginners. Grow With Video is about clarity. It's about before you even get to VRA. And Video Ranking Academy 2.0, by the way, is all about ranking videos. It's how um, I basically built everything. It's how we built Video Influencers. It's how we built Think Media. It is, it, it's, it's start to finish. It's also, a, it's an academy. It's a huge course with a lot of different value, a lot of different training. It's more expensive, too but that's called Video Ranking Academy. But one of the things I actually realized as people were joining Video Ranking Academy is some people were not clear on their niche or they knew on their niche, but they didn't know how to be different in their niche. They didn't have clarity in their overall, how they were different, what their kind of tagline was, their promise about their channel, clarity on their content schedule. We go into your content schedule, creating a content plan, creating a content strategy. So Video Ranking Academy kind of assumed that you had some of those things done. And it was like, here's how you get your videos ranking in search, get massive views, how to monetize in different ways. We cover monetization in Grow With Video. In Video Rank Academy, we go deep though, 10 different ways to, to monetize. So the Grow With Video is, is a great place to start. But even if you were already a Video Ranking Academy member and you don't have Grow With Video, plus all the other bonuses. And if you want to see everything, link in the description. It's at Grow With Video Live. Take it back. It's at growwithvideosale.com. You can see all the bonuses. So that's kind of the difference. VRA's promise is, is this, you know, best greens powder. It's getting your videos ranking in search so you can get views while you snooze. It's um, Christmas 
uh, LED projector lights. 1,600 people search this a month. This video is two years old. Um, I review a couple Christmas projector lights. It's getting 35.6 views an hour. Um, it links to a kit.com. There's affiliate links there. And, you know, at any given time, we generate multiple six figures just from the Amazon associate uh, program. Now, that's not a promise. I'm not making income claims. I'm not saying these programs, um, uh, like, you know, you join them and, and you'll make uh, money overnight. You might make um, more, less, nothing at all. Uh, what you get inside of these training programs is a blueprint, step by step, how to do it, how to set it up, how to go to a mastery level, how to cut you know, hundreds of hours off of your learning curve and get a shortcut from someone who's done it before. Um, and so anyways, that's a little bit of the, um, the difference of those two programs. Um, and keep in mind, everything's, it's risk-free to jump in. You can dive into the whole thing and, um, and uh, try it out for 30 days because you've got that. All right, we'll take like one or two more questions. Did you have fun today? Let's smash like. We're over two hours. We're hanging out. Um, how do you get monetized after the due date of the YouTube policy? So, you know, now, of course, you need 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. And you need that 4,000 4, hours of watch time in 12 months. Um, and then you have the freedom to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. It could be frustrating because even once you hit that target, they might not approve you for one, two, or even multiple months. Here's the good news. Don't focus on YouTube ads and don't focus on the partner program. I grew Think Media. I focused only on affiliate marketing. It was nice once I got to the level of having YouTube ads. But again, we were able to build, I was able to build a full-time income, a six-figure income without YouTube ads at all. And we talk about other monetization streams. I mean, there's affiliate marketing, there's brand deals, there's crowdfunding, there's speaking, there's consulting, there's freelancing, there's lots of different things. And you'll learn about that in, in our advanced training. And so I get it and, and, and you should pursue monetization, but a lot of crea creators, we become myopic. We just become so focused on like, oh, when I get approved for the partner program, you don't need a partner program to build an empire, man. You can build a business model around your YouTube channel, never do YouTube ads, and still absolutely crush it. No life. Can you give me some unique advice about how to name and brand your YouTube channel? And so um, I think that I want to recommend a video to you, and it's, it's how to name your YouTube channel. If you type that into um, YouTube, it should be Video Ranking Academy. It should be right there. So check this out. This will really help. And this should go deeper in your question. The next thing I would say about branding is uh, kind of the same idea. You know, a brand is what people think about when they think about you. Starbucks has a look and a brand to it. Kohl's has a look. Walmart, Best Buy have a look. Uh, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk's social media has a certain brand to it. That's different than Oprah's social media. That's different than The Rock social media. So you want to be thinking about your brand and your name. Watch this video, though, how to come up with uh, a YouTube name. We'll link that up as well in the description. And so um, that should add some value. Well, hey, um, thank you so much for hanging out today. Did you have fun? Did you get some value? I look for, do, would you like to see some future live streams? Can you spread the word? Let somebody know about this question of the day. What camera do you currently use for creating content? I don't know if that was the actual question of the day. I used that for my last, uh, what is your biggest challenge right now with YouTube? I'm changing it. That was from a different slide. You can tell me what camera you use too. What's your biggest, as he like fixes his slides live, what's your biggest challenge on YouTube right now? I am gonna go through the live chat or on the replay, the comments. Hope I spelled all this right. And um, what's your biggest challenge on YouTube right now? Because right now we're getting ready for more training. We're gonna come new videos here on Think Media, leveling up our advanced training, new free value training right here on Think Media in 2019. I can't wait. It's gonna be a big year. And um, I'm excited to um, share a lot of new stuff with you soon. So tell me in the live chat, tell me um, in the comment section, what's your biggest challenge with YouTube right now? Um, 
all the details and links in the description. If you wanna check out anything we talked about in this video, we'll put show notes and links in the description below. Um, and I just wanna say thank you so much. You know, yesterday was Thanksgiving. Um, if you're still here on the video on the replay, where you're here live, I just wanna say thank you for your attention. Thank you for um, being a part of this community. It means the world to me that you're here, that you're interested in, in building your influence. You know, I can tell we're like-minded because you're someone who on Black Friday here in America is like learning and leveling up and thinking about personal development and business development and building your brand. And, you know, that's the stuff I geek out of. You know, I love this industry. I love uh, learning and studying and learning the nuances of social media. And so this community, we want it to be a place that is encouraging to you, is supportive, where you're getting the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video, where you're getting to meet and connect with other content creators, whether we do live stuff, YouTube secrets, meetups, our event called Grow With Video Live happening in 2019. I mean, a lot of cool stuff coming your way. I just wanna say uh, I'm thankful that we're connected. Uh, hit me up on Twitter is one of the best places um, to do. I know there's a few other you know, channel reviews, but uh, we've gone over two hours now, so we will be doing future live streams um, as well, just for time's sake. And uh, in the meantime, keep crushing it, keep smashing it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, click or tap the screen right there to check out another video from Think Media. And remember that this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.